show you a quick tutorial on faux wood grain. Um, it's very easy to do. You'll need a couple materials. You'll need a um, base coat of paint, which is, I've used kind of this um, bisque taupe color. You'll also need a um, medium, like a little bit darker, but a medium color with um, mixed with some glaze. Um, I used about a one part, on this one I used one part glaze to one part paint. And then I mixed a darker um, glaze, which I used actually less paint, so probably about one part paint and three parts glaze. Then I also, for my particular project, I'm working on like a driftwood look, so I wanted to have a little bit more of a creamy whitewash to go on top. You'll need a wood graining tool. You'll need a paintbrush that's kind of rough also. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm start starting with the middle glaze, and what I'm doing is I'm dabbing off most of it on here. And I'm running it along my piece. In this case, it's just poster board. In one direction to kind of make it have almost like a grain on its own. And it's okay if you have areas that are darker and areas that are lighter, because that's exactly how wood is. Then go ahead and let that dry. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and paint on this darker glaze. I'm working in just like a few stripes at a time. Pretend like you're just going to work with two or three floor planks at a time. Once that's painted on, Then you're going to take your wood graining tool and you can start either way. You can start it this way with this at the top or this at the top. And you're going to go ahead and push down. You're going to rock back and forth, kind of different strokes. And what I like to do on the next, on the next row, I like to reverse my rocker. And you can see it's actually leaving a really pretty wood grain. If you don't want any knots, you can actually just scrape along the teeth. And as a final step, I like to take a dry brush and just really lightly kind of feather the grain in. And if you do too much, that's okay. It's like right here. Kind of took the grain away. And just roll, roll over it. And in the end, you want to actually wipe off all this excess paint in between your stripes. The last thing I do on my um, faux wood grain is I like to kind of give it like a whitewash since I'm going for that kind of driftwood look. So I've dipped my brush in this cream colored glaze. And I'm just going to really wipe off any excess and then I'm just going to really lightly drag it over and if I get too much I can kind of wipe it off a little bit believe it or not this actually works a little bit better when you are doing this on wood because the natural variation and the texture will just kind of grab a little bit of the white. 